We can move from affliction to endurance to proven character and then to hope. Here's the thing. You don't get to step four without going through steps one, two, and three. Some of us want to go directly from afflictions to hope. And God is like, nope, there's some work that needs to be done here. There's some work that needs to be done here. Friends, our hope cannot be microwaved. You can't just put it on the fast track. Hope cannot be microwaved. And the, most, the single most important part of this entire progression is endurance. This is that spiritual muscle that if it doesn't get worked out, it starts to atrophy. Back in the day before I realized in working out, you actually need to work out your lower body and your upper body. I used to go to these gyms where I see these dudes who like super buff up top, but they had little bitty chicken legs because they never worked out, you know, they never worked out their legs and stuff. And I'm, I recall the memory of, of a guy on a, on a bench, and I guess he was flexing because somebody was in there, maybe some girl he was trying to, trying to get at. So he put 245s on either side. He got up under that bad boy, hit it once, hit it twice, tried to hit it that third time, friends, knowing that God will use affliction for his glory is sometimes like him adding another 45 when you can't even carry the ones you got. We can't circumvent the process. There's something that God wants to teach us when it comes to endurance. And let's just, let me just bowl down your alley real quick. If you looked at that progression, where are you? Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.